Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I'm here with Sheridan and we are doing her nails. So we thought we would come and do it live with you and show you some base application, some chrome application and a jelly rainbow. So I'm going to flip the camera over and then we will get started. Great there. Thank you. It's always a trick. Okay, so what we have done is we have prepped her nails, but we haven't cleansed. And I'm going to be using Get a Grip Base Coat and either Build Me Up or Rosa in a bottle. Um, give me strength. I'm sorry, not Rosa. Give me strength in a bottle. So I am going to make sure that I cleanse really, really well with Magpie Prep and Dehydrate. So just prep and dehydrate on a Magpie wipe. And I'm going to scrub that nail plate really, really well, making sure to dehydrate it. The Magpie system is based on dehydrated nails, so you just want to make sure that you really get all of the oils off of each nail plate, especially around the epinicium and down into those sidewalls, making sure to really cleanse very, very well. Now I'm hungry. I'm really, I was just thinking, I'm really wishing we had eaten before we started the live, but here we are. We're doing it. We're in it. We're in it to win it. If you're growling, it is, it is my stomach. It is yeah. the stomachs of, of us. Now the Get a Grip base coat is so yummy to work with. It self levels really nicely. You can build a really nice apex. You can use it as a structure manicure gel, but you would want to do that into two layers rather than one. Uh, so it's really a multi-purpose gel. It's also really great at um, encapsulating over chrome or over glitters, things like that, because it self levels nicely. So it does just a beautiful job. Get a Grip is HEMA free, so if you have a client who has an allergy, then that is going to be an excellent option for you. All right, just putting on my gloves so that I can get going. All right, so Get a Grip comes in clear, but then it also comes in three colors, which is a milky white, a peach, and a pink. But I just prefer to use clear in general. However, those other colors can be used as a base color and it would prevent us from having to put a base color beneath any, say if you just wanted nail art, but they wanted the color of the peach. So it could be used as the base color, which is really nice. After that, I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to use Build Me Up Clear. I could go in with Give Me Strength Rosa as my structure layer. I like to use something that has a little bit more strength. Sheridan is in charge of our warehouse, so she's using her nails as tools, which is a big no-no. However, just kind of understanding her lifestyle is going to help me choose which one is a better option. And I think I'm going to go with Build Me Up Clear in a bottle. This can be used as a base coat. However, I really love the adhesion of Get a Grip. So I'm gonna put Get a Grip, just a scrubbed layer, right onto the base coat, or right onto the nail plate. Then I'm gonna go in and use this as my structure. And then we have a really fun design prepared. So I'm gonna to get to that point. First up, I'm gonna go in with primer. This is just a dehydrating primer. In case I missed any oil on the nail plate, I just want to make sure that I have the best possible adhesion. We do not suggest using a sticky primer. Uh, other systems use a sticky primer, but this particular system, it does cause a lot of lifting when you use a sticky primer. So make sure that you are using the Magpie primer if you are using the Magpie base coats. All right, here we go. So I'm just taking just a tiny bit on my bristles and I'm going to scrub this in Just a nice thin layer. I don't need this to be fixing any lumps or bumps. I'm just scrubbing it onto the nail plate, onto the old product. And then I'm going to cure it for a full 60 seconds in the Magpie lamp. 
what is everybody eating for lunch? Maybe other people are eating lunch. And if we hear about them, it will bring us joy. <laughs> it'll, it'll bring us joy that they are enjoying their lunch. I hope. Here in Utah, it is lunchtime. Ooh, cake. Mm hmm. Oh. Somebody's eating cake for breakfast or for lunch mm -hmm. or breakfast. Or breakfast. If you're just waking up. Listen, supporting. cake for breakfast is actually one of it's my favorite best. things. It is the best. Like Straight at Thanksgiving when it's pie for breakfast, I'm like, oh, this oh. is the life. Yeah. Yep. Aaron, sweet Aaron Dial is having coffee. Oh, well, that is definitely a lunch, that's sort a of. Aaron, I don't think Aaron, that's a meal, though. You need a coffee cake with that little yeah. bad boy. Yeah. Then you would have a meal. Some, like, Add some coffee those, cake. Like, <laughs> In that goes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now this one, really quickly, this one in particular, she sculpted yesterday. So I'm going to skip this one. I'm just going to put a very thin layer of build me up on that, but I don't need a base coat. So I'm not going to put any on that. Instead, I'm just going to skip over to our other now. Avery is having cottage cheese and berries. Oh, delicious. Adri, I'm loving the worst post coach ever post. So just keep them coming. They make me giggle. She has an old English bulldog. Oh, and whenever she goes, <laughs> whenever she goes and exercises, say on the treadmill or whatever, mm -hmm. then he's just sitting there sleeping next to her. <laughs> <laughs> Knox is so lazy. Oh, I just love him. Yeah, just bring him with you. The dog. Mm -hmm. I like the new dog. Knox is a cute name for a bulldog. He is the cutest. Most personality. I'm on the okay. bulldog TikTok trend. Oh, yes. All I see is bulldogs. Uh huh. <laughs> Bree, what are you eating for lunch? Hmm? What are you eating for lunch? Uh, chicken wrap. All right. Not anything that great. No, but it yeah, sounds very good. In that goes, please. Sounds like food. I think I touched uh, I didn't. Okay. Next up, we're going in with our Build Me Up Clear. Now, Build Me Up cures like a hard gel. It's a great structure manicure gel. And where she doesn't need a lot of strength or a lot of bulk, I'm just going to paint on a fairly thin layer. Um, it could, because it self-levels, if I had any structural issues, any lumps or bumps, then I could use this gel to fix that as well. But she doesn't really have much, so I'm just going to paint on just a thin layer. Let it self-level. <laughs> Lauren said the quality of the live on the app is perfect. <gasps> I'm so glad you think so. We thought so, too. It just is great. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Jeanette said the live thing on the app is awesome. So glad you're loving it. It's a lot of fun to have all of you here with us. Bree, Jeanette says hi. Hi. That's one reason I do miss the store is saying hi to all of our friends. Yeah. Yeah. It was a bittersweet move. Now we have expos for that. Yep. Our very first expo is going to be the Utah Beauty Show. Utah Beauty Expo down in St. George. Who all is going? I am. I'll be there. Yes, yes, you will. I will not be there. Yeah. How sad is that? It's super not sad, sad for you. I'll be in Disneyland. Yeah. It's not going to be so bad. Nope. So because um, Build Me Up Self Levels, I am just wanting to not have a flat surface. So I don't have a very thick layer on there. But I am going to turn her over so that the gravity can pull my thin layer just down to the center of the nail so that I don't have thick edges. Lauren's excited to be with us in July. In Tennessee. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Yes, it will. Sheridan's coming. This will be a first time going to Gatlinburg. I won't be doing anything. 
at the expo. I'll just be hanging out in Gatlinburg while you guys work. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> that'll be why. Uh, well, Gatlinburg is a fancy place. It is eclectic. If, if all of you, whoever's watching, if you have never been to Gatlinburg, Tennessee, you really should put it on your bucket list. I mean, what a fun place. Dollywood is in the next town over in Pigeon Forge. So if you ever wanted to go to Dollywood, I didn't even know what Dollywood was. Yeah, when you said that the, when I first started here, I was like, what Lock are that. you talking about? Dollywood is like Disneyland, except it's Dolly Parton themed. <laughs> and apparently there's butterflies everywhere. Huh? Yeah, because she loves are butterflies. We, Dolly? we were going to last year and then we ended up not going. This mm. year, what I really want to do is go... Um, on the bridge? Again. Okay, on the bridge again. Because but that, that was so fun. But I want to do, dang it, what is the word? I did it in Hawaii. Um, ziplining. Thank you, ziplining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Yep. Sorry, Amazing. So I'm looking into that. Mm-hmm. So hopefully we get to do some sort of something fun. But that would be up in the Smoky Mountains. And wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Let's do yep. that. Mm-hmm. All right, well, have fun at the expo. I'll just be in the Up in the Smoky Mountains, watching the bears down below? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Last year, there was a bear that walked through the front yard, and I saved the dog. Yeah. Remember the story? Yep. I do remember the I story. saved the dog from the bear. The bear that wasn't interested in the dog, but that's not <laughs> what I'm talking about. I still saved it. For some reason in my head, it just makes me think of the proposal when the little, have you seen the proposal? Yeah, absolutely. When the little dog gets taken by the big old bird. Uh, it's very similar. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And she has to save the dog. Mm-hmm. Oh. Except I like the dog. <laughs> and it was a bear. <laughs> All right, and you go the whole time. Jim said I have to tell the you have to tell your travel coordinator that, so... Oh, uh, travel coordinator, yes. we want to go zip lining. And I would like to help you working at the expo. Just kidding, uh, I'm excited. She is just kidding because she can't get out of it. <laughs> yep. The other day, maybe yesterday, the day before, I saw a meme that said, on the outside, I'm just fine, but inwardly, I'm wishing I was on vacation. That is me every day. Yep, so that's what she's wishing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, Lauren says she was only there for 36 hours last time, so this year will be. <laughs> yes, you get to be there a little longer. You get to see something, do something, which will be very exciting. Again, I don't need a very thick layer on this. So I am just kind of treating it mostly as a fill. Like I'm putting a little extra at the back and then just pulling it forward because I don't want to end up with thick nails. We are doing chrome nails and then doing a design on top of that. So when you're thinking about the design that you're going to do and the structure that it needs, make sure that you're not doing your structured manicure layer too thick. Otherwise, you're going to end up with bulky nails, which nobody wants. I'm going to flip you over. Jeanette said the bad part about the app is that it, how easy it is to buy stuff. Bad, good, good, bad, tomato, tomato. <laughs> did we do that on purpose? Maybe. Well, we, did, we did do it on purpose, but that was because we wanted to be helpful. Absolutely. Because sometimes it can get a little tricky, especially having to go through all the pages on the app. Mm-hmm. And we didn't want things to be like, where do I find that product? In that close, please. And there's about 10,000 Yeah. Products. So we wanted to make it easy for all of you beautiful customers. Is this hot on your nails? Nope. Build me up? Great. Surprisingly, no. I'm so happy. Sometimes build me up can be hot. It depends on the client. There's a lot of things that contribute to the heat factor, but 
that I am aware of, Build Me Up is the least hot product as far as builder gels or sculpting gels or structure manicure gels, whatever you want to label this type of a gel as. So it's very, very nice to work with. But for me. Jeanette said that it is very helpful. I love the app. I'm just tempted to make it in order every week. Oh. <laughs> I'll ship it with love. That's right. I want you to know that I was just so hit in the head watching you put that on, but I just put the wrong part of the grape in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> hypnotizing. What part is the wrong part? All right, in you go. The, in you go. Part, All right, so right. now we're going to do the fun part. We are going to chrome kitty and that is going to be incredibly holographic in the background. And then we are going to come in and do a rainbow jelly situation right over top. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a very happy manicure. And we wanted to make sure to be able to show you a couple of different techniques, especially a technique of chroming because a lot of people have a tough time with chrome. Now, normally we would put a base color underneath, but because we are going to be using all of the jellies on top, I don't want the nail to be super thick. So I am going to go right in with Don't Be Tacky and directly chrome right on her natural nail color. Here we go. Do it. Don't Be Tacky is a 60 second cure. This is a thinner base coat or a thinner top coat. So this is not one that you would be able to correct um, a shape with. So if you had lumpy or bumpy nails, this is not going to be what you could use over top. Instead, this should just be applied in a very thin layer and then cured for a full 60 seconds. And then as soon as it comes out, we are going to use a chroming tool. This guy is going to connect right into here and we're going to use our chroming tool and we are going to chrome kitty on top of all of the nails. We're only going to work one hand at a time from don't be tacky to this. And then we'll do the next hand, don't be tacky all the way to this because we don't want to let don't be tacky cool. Um, does anybody know how people chooses their sexiest man alive? I think this is a really good question. What are the criteria? Who is the judge of that? Yeah, who is the judge? Is there a poll? Are we missing out on a poll? Because we've all decided that um, Paul Rudd. Yeah. Have decided. <laughs> he maybe you he's not. Decided. Blake Shelton is a big fat no, right? So who decides? So anybody know? Anybody have an in? Okay, let's talk about the Hugh Jackman thing. Okay, Hugh, Hugh, does Hugh I wasn't going to bring him up. Hugh Jackman deserve to be. When you talk about sorry, it. I don't mean to make Who it angry. Who loves Hugh? Raise your hand. So Rachel and her grandma it said was absolutely. The first love of my life at eleven years old in Van Helsing. See, this is why I can't talk about Hugh Jackman because this is our only disagreement in life. <laughs> Is like, Hugh? We're such good friends, except for this. <laughs> except Hugh. Mm -hmm. Jeanette said Paul Rudd absolutely deserves it. Paul Rudd. Absolutely, mm -hmm. that's what I said. Mm -hmm. I I think he's a maybe. I mean, I think he's cute. I think he's I cute. Think I wouldn't say he's the sexiest man alive. Oh, Paul, Paul Rudd. Rudd. The man has not aged in 20 years. <laughs> okay, by applying a thin layer, I was allowed, I was able to do all five. Now I'm just going to go back through, make sure nothing has slipped into the sidewalls because wherever Don't Be Tacky is, is where our chrome is going to sit. So you want to make sure that your application is spot on. And that goes for a full 60 seconds. So now we can really talk about Paul Rudd versus who. <laughs> in my opinion, Ryan Reynolds. Should have been on the cover. My opinion, I Sebastian think he's already been it. Sebastian Sam is a sexy man. He is. It's been in how many movies? I don't know. How many shows lately? Um, that would be. What's he on, man? What? He's, he's, he's the, the Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Oh, what's the guy with the dark hair? 
<laughs> what? She <laughs> says, what? <laughs> oh. All right, so here we go. It's been in for 60 seconds. So I am going to collect. Ooh, that is a whole, but oh, that's that way too lot. much, okay? So that's very aggressive. So we need just a little, and we are going to rub this directly onto the nail. And it is going to make a major chrome situation. Do you see how holographic that is? And we only need a little bit. Yes. What is the difference between using the little eyeshadow scrubby versus like a single coat scrubby? Preference. Does it matter? Preference. Rachel uses her fingers. I use my fingers. Yeah, and that's fine. I am somebody who doesn't. That's just because I have an allergy and I don't like to touch anything. So, yep, preference. I saw a holographic smiley face mm -hmm. the other day. Mm -hmm. oh, I just need a client to just say, I want a smiley face. And I will say, I got you. I got you. Because <laughs> Kitty is coming right up. Yep. Ooh, hold on. I just don't want a lot, but every time I dunk in here, hold up. You need a lot. Mm-hmm. We just need a little. And the very lightest pressure, like I'm holding way back here. So I'm not up here like scrubbing it in like this. Way back here, just light pressure. All onto, don't be tacky. And it's incredibly holographic. Ooh. Bazinga. <laughs> Boom. All right, we're gonna put that oh, yeah, off to the pretty. side. And now we're gonna do the second hand. So then we can go back to, um, is Brad Pitt an option? No. Well, he's, I, I Anybody else? Oh, I think, think yeah. Own. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I didn't Ryan think he should have been where he, he has had. Oh, he seven, has? Yeah. Okay, well, I, I agree with that. <laughs> I love me some Ryan Reynolds in any situation. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hiddleston. Who's that? Loki. Mm, no. I think that he is. Have you ever? He's a character person. Like I like his yeah. character. I don't know that I necessarily. Him all by himself, like when he goes to like the okay. premieres have and you, stuff. Have no. you ever yeah. seen him do an interview? Have you ever seen him interact with an interview? No. Nope. Have you guys Change seen him? In, <laughs> him and Kong. Four sevens. What is same thing? In what? Kong. The like last. I don't know which one it was, but I was like, who in the flip flops is that? Because he is something nice to look at. Something nice in that movie. Isn't that Brie Larson in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Say the name again. Kong. Kong. Like it's like King Kong. King Kong. Oh, like a oh. Suit. yeah. Mm -hmm. But not the one. But not with, like the um, Naomi Watts. No, no, no. Forever ago. No, it's like a newer one. I see. Oh. Oh, I'm with Jeanette. She says Henry Cavill. Oh, oh. 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 Can we talk about that I think, specimen? Is there anybody in this room who's against no. Henry Cavill? Anybody? Anybody? No. no, no. We're all in agreement. Done. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Grandma, who would you vote? Who would you vote for? Again. Right, right. Grandma wants Hugh Jackman. Mm -hmm. Hugh Jackman. Mm -hmm. Even he's though done he's, it though, right? He's been it many, many times. All right, and you go full 60 seconds. He deserves that and more. All right, so again, this is Kitty. We just need the tiniest bit, and I need to drop some up here against my edge because I had to dig down, and then I was getting tons. So you just need a little bit. Like, this could easily do two nails. Okay, so don't get worry. You get 0.7 grams in here, but that is really going to last you a very long time because you only use a tiny bit per nail. Hmm, 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 hmm. Long 60. 60 seconds. We need another man to talk about. Hmm. I've got several. How much time do we have? <laughs> Give me another one. Who else do we, we got have? a whole rainbow to do. What you got? <laughs> I gotta think about hmm. it. I put me on the spot. Was that a full 60? Like it's, it's done, done? Um, mm -hmm. Or did you take it out too soon? All right, we're gonna see. No, he already had it. Oh, that's no. a lot. No. That's so much. He has not done. 
Bye, Jeanette. Have a good Bye. day. Bye. Have work. a wonderful day. Bye, Make beautiful things. <laughs> okay, so this it? nail, we definitely oh, use too much. Do you see? how much is on her skin. We definitely don't need to be wasting our product. So make sure that you are just using just a tiny bit. She also looks like Kevin Costner at this age, which um, he's, okay. he's okay. We can go an old man round if we'd like. We can go down that. Little silver fox moment. Sylvester Stallone will always have that. Ew! You will always I'm have sorry, wow. Yeah! <laughs> I love Ted Danson. <laughs> What um, is happening? Nick I'm Offerman. An old man. <laughs> Love me some Nick Offerman. Mm -hmm. Old men. Um, I don't know necessarily old men. Just Sylvester Stallone is old. Season. They're in the Women. smoky phase. <laughs> so there's the hot, there's the, the cute, the hot, the, what's the other one? Sexy. And then there's smoky. Oh, see, so see, smokiest so man smoky alive. Is, yeah. yeah, come on, people, smokiest get with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get with it, people. Yeah. People Magazine. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just take my applicator brush and I'm going to go through and just remove any of the excess that's on the nail. And the reason is because I don't want the chrome application to go gritty. So if this was what we were going to end with, you definitely want to remove any of the excess particles but you're not going to necessarily see it because we're putting the jellies over top. But I do want to highlight this step in your chrome process. Make sure that you are removing all of the excess. All right, now what we're gonna do is before we start applying our jellies, we are going to, this is true for any chrome application. So chrome is a sandwich of gel, powder, and then gel, and we want to seal the two together. So we're going to give just a slight buff to the free edge. Not really disturbing the chrome, but just giving the color that we're going to cap over top somewhere to grip to. This is a moment. Chrome? Yeah, I don't know if I ever had <gasps> chrome nails. Really? This is yeah, very, this very exciting. Okay, so one last time I'm going to go in and remove any of her dust so that when I start applying the color, it won't have any gritty. No grit left. All of that is going to be removed. Okay, here we go. Clear the decks. And our very first one is going to be a red and then a red to orange and then an orange to yellow yellow to green so a red to orange maybe red is going to start here red to orange and then orange to yellow yellowish yellow to green what we're trying to do is make it last all the way across the nails so we have one, two, three four five six seven colors all right some of them are going to get a full nail color so we'll have red and then we'll end with pink um, and those ones are going to have a full nail. Now we only need a very thin layer and we are not doing a double layer of the ombre. So we have to make sure that we take our time on the ombre nails and really make the ombre really nice. All right, so there's our red. And now we're going to go red to orange. And I'm going to push the orange over a little bit so that I make it to where maybe orange has its own nail. We'll see. Okay, Tawny has some things about this whole man situation. <laughs> she, she is on the Hugh Jackman train. Absolutely. Henry Hat. 
Cavill as Superman. Mm -hmm. What about as The Witcher? She watched it. I think so. I think so. Google it. We got it. <laughs> she also said Bradley Cooper, Matthew McConaughey, mm -hmm. Sam Elliott in his prime, and Tom Selleck back in the day. Sam Elliott in his prime. Yeah, and then. Oh, my, oh, at any age. Absolutely. <laughs> for my entire life, my mom has called Matthew McConaughey Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. My mom loves him too. I think he's a good time. Now, when we're marrying the two colors together, you want to have somewhere where you can wipe the red pigment off because we don't want red pigment to go into our orange jelly. So make sure you have just a little pad of some sort to wipe off. You'll especially see it when I go orange to yellow mm -hmm. or yellow to green. You want to make sure that you are wiping off the excess pigment. I do like Bradley Cooper. I won't lie. Yeah, we just watched 18 the other day. Mm -hmm. So now we're moving on to yellow. I'm having, come back to me. I'm having a big old brain fart. You know? I really like Robert Downey Jr. Absolutely. Like him in Heart and Souls. Yellow. Him in anything. And make sure you're capping that free edge because this is where we need to seal in that chrome. If we were doing a clear layer here, you would make sure to cap that free edge. So even though we're going finger to finger, you just need to make sure that you are getting all of it covered, okay? And then we're going to have a yellow to green, and then maybe we'll have a full green now because I love the green jelly. It's a cute color. It is cute. Oh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, he can be on the list. Absolutely. <gasps> Jeffrey Dean Morgan is, is one hottie. He was on The Walking Dead. He was on Anatomy. We saw him in the oh. London airport and Rachel had a moment. I did. I died. It's fine. I didn't like meet him or say hi or like get my picture taken with him, but I did cry walking past him. And it was the best day of my life. <clears throat> Jim says, you ladies are killing me. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. Uh, all right, so before I put her in to lock this, I'm seeing that the red has kind of a little bit moved away from the epinichium, and I want to make sure that my application is nice and tight to seal in all of that chrome. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more on there, clean up any of my boo-boos, check every nail, and then pop this in the lamp real fast. Okay, so let's take a, a detailer. We're gonna just push this pigment back up toward the epinichium and then let it settle. That one's good and that one's good. Okay, give that just one second. All right, lock this for a good five seconds and then we will have a full nail of green and then we're going to carry the green on to the other nail while we'll marry it with the blue, the purple, and then end with the pink. But isn't the green just so cute? So oh, cute. I love the green color. Yeah. Um, One of my favorites. It's just such a nice tone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is how I want my implant. Your implant to be? <laughs> no. Now we have to tell everybody. No, you can't be that color. Fine. Aerial glitter? Yeah, no, I'm out. Please. Please. Green so Sheridan is having a tooth pulled because it is not doing well and she has bone decay so then she has to get an implant and she wants it to be a color and it could be this color and that goes and that goes yeah right at the back of her mouth yep all right hair hurts are fresh had and we're going to go green to blue 
I am asking. If it can be a colored tooth? Yeah. I love it. Even if it can't be colored, I would like a sparkly white tail. White. That would be cute. What white if it was tooth. iridescent? Oh, that would be so cute. <laughs> An iridescent tooth at the back of her mouth. Moving on to blue. That would be so cute. Why don't you put gold flakes in an iridescent tooth? And then some flower petals. <laughs> flower petals, like that lipstick. <laughs> yes. It's basically resin art that you put in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I'm going for. If I could have them interchangeable, I think I'd, I'd go that route too. If you could just have a resin tooth. Maybe you could do like a flip song. There we go. All right, now I'm going to have her lock this one so that we don't have to fix the big thumb before we give a full cure. So lock that for five seconds, please. Now I have to think she has four fingers left and I have three colors. So I'm going to go blue to purple. Hmm. Maybe mostly blue to a little bit of purple and then a full purple, then purple to pink and then end with a pink nail. That's what I'll do. I went longer than five, sorry. That's okay. All right, so this nail is going to be mostly blue with just a hint of purple. And you could have this conversation with your client, like what is, you know, your favorite colors? Because those are the colors that you could have be a full nail rather than a partial nail. I think it's Satara. Your mad cow is showing. All right, will you lock that, please? So cute. And now we'll do a full purple. Then we're going to go purple to pink and then end with a pink nail. So cute. You hear my mother, everybody. Now we've got them thinking like, who is the, <laughs> who's the smoking hottie? Who are you talking about? Her chiropractor. <laughs> no, All right, and that goes. Brian Adams. You're welcome. They went the singer route. Yeah, they did. Interesting. But he doesn't make the list. That opens a whole new thing. That opens a whole different. Purple to pink. And then we're going to end with pink. And see how easy it is to make a rainbow using the jellies. They just ombre so nicely. And if we wanted to do two layers, we could. But because I have that holographic in the background, I don't want to. But think about how with your second layer, it would be so much more vibrant, which would be a lot of fun on the nail. Don't do that part now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be carrying one thing out and we're leaving. Not your mom and I. I'll take her with you. Okay. Oh, hi. You're still here. How are you? Sure. <laughs> really beautiful. Hey, Dean, I'm going to go put my eyeliner on to highlight my eyes. <laughs> Beautiful. So pretty. All right. And that goes for a full cure. And now here is the very last step. And what we're going to do is make sure that you follow this one rule. If you do chrome and you use don't be tacky, then your final color or your final layer has to be don't be tacky. Don't be tacky does not work well with other products. It could be, um, yeah. Top it off because top it off is a version of don't be tacky. So you could either use don't be tacky as your top coat or top it off. Today, because top it off clear is out of stock, I am going to put on clear don't be tacky. Unless we wanted to up the ante, I think maybe we do. I think we're going to use the top it off hollow glitz. Yeah. I think so. Okay, hold on one moment. Top it off hollow glitz. Come on. This is fun. Isn't she pretty? 
Okay. Yeah. Because we have a hollow background, we're gonna bring it out with top it off hollow glitz. This is a beautiful top coat. It does have, it's a little bit thicker than don't be tacky, which is really nice to apply. Beautiful. These are the perks of getting the magpie out. All right, close. The, Lock that, please. Everything. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna go live. Out you go. Okay. <laughs> then we're gonna do this. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Hopefully. Getting a, getting a CO2 Sorry. fractional and it basically oh. is like oh, the laser gonna be your face so off. big. Oh, I see. But then oh, it also smells like skin. Got it. It's like your face is all. Got I it. cannot wait for this. Because um, it basically is like you burn a fractional off every girl. girl. And then Lock that, please. fresh baby skin. Oh, it's, right. it's like a. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to get put this in for a full 60 second cure. And it's so fun. I do love the rainbow. It is fun. Mm -hmm. You know who is going to say, oh, you got a rainbow? And I don't. Your mother. Your mother is going to say that you got a rainbow and she didn't. The other day, Sheridan was doing her mom's nails and her mom wanted a rainbow and Sheridan said, no, thank you, mom. No, thank you, mom. Uh -huh. So this is going to be a very fun day for you. At your house. We're just here with you ladies. Okay. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Love you so hard. Have yes. so much fun. I will. Oh my gosh. I love everyone. I'm off Cabo. I love oh. it. Enjoy Cabo. Huh? Enjoy the sun. I know. We're so nice. Yeah. Lock that, please. Yeah, here. And she is like my person who, on the outside, she's fine, but wishes she was on vacation. She's actually on vacation. She's vacation. Yeah, I wish that I was on vacation. Who is? Cheryl was on vacation. Oh, yeah. She's a vacation queen. Yeah. She is. She is. You gotta work hard, play hard. Yeah. All right, and that goes whole time. Okay, now because all Magpie products are 100% gel, what we can do at the end of our manicure is go through and clean up our edges, clean up any little colors that may have gotten on the side that we don't want there, because we want to send our client out with the very best manicure possible. So we go through and we can just give a quick finish file to the free edges and make sure that there isn't anything there for our clients to pick and that everything looks as good as it can. Your clients are your very first um, points of marketing and it's free marketing. If you give them your best work, then they will send you the best clients. She's done a lot of all right, next she up. Just $300, there we go. She lives up in, um, yeah, as high as you can go, there's one house above her. If she gets a house in Cabo, let's go visit. She will let all of us go. Okay. We're going on vacation to Cabo, sweet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yep, amazing. I love it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. The last step would, of course, be to go have my client wash her hands to remove any of the little bits of chrome that may be on her skin. And then I would be able to go through with oil. So that is a full manicure start to finish. We hope you enjoyed that. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, let us know. We're happy to help in any way possible. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.